Hello there, I've got another picture. This is going to be a canvas this time. I decided to use a canvas. It's pretty much square and it's about it's about A4, but it's the long side of A4 all the way around pretty much. Bit, maybe a bit smaller than that, but it's about that size. So I'm just drawing things out in pencil because it's easier to have a plan. So my plan is, even though it's not, it wasn't going to be, I think it's going to have to be painted some of this. Uh, because just just because canvas is such a rough surface, I actually don't know why I used it now, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Canvas is really knobbly and rough, so it, it's better if you've got a bit of paint on there because it, it it's like I don't know if, if you've ever tried painting onto stucco on the front of a house. It's got all those knobbles you've got to get get the colour into, which is kind of hard work when you've um, when you're using a piece of chalk. You've got to really rub it. So I thought, well, I'll fill in the gaps with. Uh, paint first or at least felt pen or something right, this is going to be uh, the back end of an imperial cutter my explorer cutter this was and then we went into i've got a feeling i don't think it uh, I was going to say it's the um oh god what's that nebula uh, it's not that one anyway so don't worry this is clearly just a wolf ray out but it's, it seems to be in a blue nebula i'll i'll have a look for what the name of the uh, system is and I'll um, put it in the, the notes on the YouTube video when I pop it on YouTube. This bit I get all wrong. Look at the angle. And I don't know whether I adequately managed to fix it. Basically, the, 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 the thrusters then sell at the back. Those those rockets, they, they, they needed to be longer and lower. But I don't think I actually worked that out until it was too late to make much difference. This one, see the angle there? That goes down there down sort of diagonally down to the left whereas it should have gone diagonally up to the left so that was all rubbish at that point so I think I'm filling it in a felt pen by the looks oh right okay felt pens quick because it's so wet and it just sinks into all the gaps dead easy and this felt pens kind of blend in with a pencil a bit because I don't know what they've got as a binder but the pencil just so it, it takes a bit of that the graveliness of the pencil away from that could rub out the pencil but it's more trouble than it's worth just basically construct that's where I try and fix it just make it a different slightly less wonky never mind I think it was all right basically just a big colorful splodgy picture I decided to do so anyway um yeah lots of bright colors and and oh this is where I'm starting to put neon paint on it most of this neon paint I covered up with chalk but I just sort of gave myself a a guide for the background just so that I knew what colours were going where so I'm filling in my bits and also with the paint I'm I'm correcting some of the lines that I've made as I went along I tend to construct pictures just mostly from round shapes circles and like you know because it, it's convenient because of the arc of your wrist and your hand you can curve that round although that I'm, I'm working away from myself there a bit still but yeah just 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 a bit of bright paint and then a bit of felt pen to uh, to start to clarify the edges of the shapes as I'm working out what goes where. Anyway, this one um, was such a good ship to to explore and I loved it. It was um, it, you had room for all of your your bits. In this one, I had oh, I had really good jump range as well. A really amazingly good jump range for saying that it is just uh, to all intents and purposes like I don't know cargo posing type shooty shooty ship but this one i just yeah it had srv bay it had um two afmus had um four cargo slots i didn't take cargo with me but the four cargo slots were there so that i could uh, synthesize limpets i had a repair limpet synthesizer um and uh collector i don't know whether i put collector limpets on i might have done actually can't remember what the plan was in the end i might have done and uh so i had repair limits and afmu on it which was which was actually really helpful not as much for me because i didn't end up using the repair limpets on myself but my my wingmate did face plant a planet once at one point and we had to drag that ship off off of a uh, 20 percent hull which was uh, a bit hairy but actually was fine and dandy uh with the repair limpets and we were well and good and after that we had no real incidents for the rest of the, the journey we went right around the galaxy we decided to draw a babel fish on the galaxy <laughs> used ddsm and uh found pretty nebulas that i liked and bits and bobs around it i used photoshop on an image of the galaxy from game or from edsm actually i used the edsm galaxy and i um 
basically superimposed my EDSM Galaxy uh, as a transparency over my um, tracing, my, my internet picture of the Babelfish from the Hitchhiker's Guide. The uh, I superimposed that over the Babelfish line that I'd done. And um, then I, uh, oh, looking at big blobby fluorescent blue paint to try and make it look as bright as I could. It was really intense, this nebula was. Anyway, so I um, I, bunged, I bunged the two pictures on top of each other and then using like real close up and zooming in on EDSM and then in the, in the Galaxy Map in-game as well, I, I discovered exactly where the different places I was trying to... Um, plot to where and I found uh, interesting places like uh, like planetary nebulas and black holes and interesting shapes and planets and planets any planets that have had like things written about them in EDSM because you've got the filters you can pull that pull up on that website so that enables you to um, to pick out points of interest around the galaxy to make it something to aim for so you don't go nuts going around um, you've got always got a little mini mini target within your main journey so that's how we made our way round. Um, it was good. We stopped every now and again doing all sorts of bits and bobs. Um, you know, uh, many, many peduncle trees, so many. A whole chunk of that, that Dryman sector, every system had multiple stellar phenomena in. Nothing other than, did we see, other than the peduncle trees for ages. But no, they made some good pictures here and there. They they did. And uh, quite a lot of them pretty sim similar. I don't know whether I got any first dis I think I got actually I got tons of first discoveries of systems because we were going in sort of because of the nature of the fish we were going to places that were not as exciting um bleak dark areas of space that no one had gone to so that made it quite fun actually and then we we I aimed for the area around the eyeball to be near colonia so we had a good stop there for a bit and faffed around and yeah thank to lucky stars that we'd not smashed into things but it was all good anyway um, right, yeah, so I'm still putting chalk on top of paint and paint on top of chalk and then felt pen on top of the whole lot to try and sort of give a sense of 3D tone to the um, the ship, the back of the ships, because all those curves and my nature of my paint job on this ship, is, I say, um, it's an iridescent so it, it's quite uh it's quite changeable in the colors that you've got you've got the oranges going through to the greens going to the, the through to the blues and all of that's impacted by this wolf Rayette star in the greenish bluish nebula so it's quite fun really as an as an image to try and copy from and i just love the intensity of the brightness that i got from being so close to the star and 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 the light and, and the colors and everything right okay well look i've said enough it, it really is no benefit to me going on and on any further so i should pop a bit of music on thank you very much for listening assuming you did and uh i'm pretty much gonna do that until it's done thanks bye